everyone, it's me again, Brittany, and I'm here today to finally film my bullet journal plan with me for September. I'm actually overall pretty pleased with how this one turned out. I did end up going with an Avatar themed because it is the Avatar The Last Airbender readathon going on this month and I was originally planning on like watching all the Avatar episodes and things like that. So I mean I still have it but there's like there's like a week left you know I have, I have time. So yeah, overall I am really pleased with how it turned out. It was much more simple than I've been doing my bullet journals, but I kind of like it. I left room so that I could improve upon it as time goes on. It didn't have to be perfect in the first go. That is something that's been making the bullet journaling videos not as much fun. So I decided to kind of calm down on that aspect of it all and just focus on the part that helps me with like my reading journey. So let us jump in. <laughs> So for this month, I decided to do an Avatar The Last Airbender theme. I already have the picture that I drew, and here I'm just trying to match sort of the lettering that Avatar uses, but you will see I actually ran out of room. But we work with what we've got, right? Right here, I actually ended up deciding to do a day's red spread. Mostly because you'll see later on I'm not doing a habit tracker this month, but this is still one habit that I want to track and I ended up just combining physical audio. So for this page, I ended up just doing a combined TBR and hauled books page. I really like how it turned out, but I do add doodles to it later on, as you will see. And then I did my pages red spread, which I ended up actually really enjoying last month and I found it very relaxing, so I kept it. And here we have probably my favorite spread, which is my Books Red spread. Ever since I created this a few months ago, I just can't stop. It is my absolute favorite. I do think that next month I want to add a little pages section for each book. And then on the opposite page I did my quotes page and I actually drew Aang's glider which I really like how it turned out. It's really cute I think. And here we have just my video tracker page. I actually did end up forgetting to put a little video ideas section and just took it up with my bookstagram area. I like how it turned out, but I definitely need to figure out where to add a video ideas section because I am at a loss, guys. And then I did end up theming each week after the different regions and elements like Air Nomads, Water Tribes, Earth Kingdom, and Fire Nation. And lastly, we just have my Avatar The Last Airbender spread, which is for the readathon that's going on. This one turned out a lot plainer than I probably would have liked. It just has the different groups and their different challenges and the books for them. But I definitely want to go back to this later and maybe add some doodles of like the gang and things like that. But for now, this is fine. This page is going to become my 24 hour readathon spread, but for now, we're just gonna ignore it. <laughs> and here it is after I've added a little bit more color and some doodles to the pages, and I'm just going to draw Appa now, so enjoy. <laughs> I actually love how he turned out, and this is probably my favorite two pages of the entire spread. Mm -hmm. 
and here we see me debate whether I should do the 24-hour readathon one, and I don't. So that's really it for everything that I finished for this bullet journal. My 24 hour readathon might happen, it might not. And then I have my stats page, which is kind of new. Overall, really simple, but I do like how it turned out. All right, and that's really gonna be it for my bullet journal video today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I am so, so, so excited about October. Obviously, I just have so many ideas for it. It is the spooky month. It is my favorite month of the year, and I just... <laughs> it's Adam's birthday. Does it land on Friday the 13th again? No. Dang. I know, I feel the same way, Chala. It's just gonna be a really exciting month and I can't wait to get it up. I definitely am going to be getting it up in a more timely manner. This month has just kind of gotten away from me, but thank you guys for always being so patient and waiting for these kinds of things. If I do update it, I will show you more in any kind of vlog that I do for this month. Oh, I did wanna mention as a mini review because I did use quite a few of the Arteza fine liner pens for my bullet journal this month and a ton of you guys are actually asking me for mini reviews as far as I can tell the markers that I got the like uh, artist style markers they work amazingly uh, they're really great for blending out just in general always start light guys and then add on your darks I definitely messed up a few times in that but I can't use them as often in my bullet journal because they bleed through quite a lot and then as far as the fine liner pens go I really like them I think that they don't bleed a lot they have a very nice line and the only thing that I will say is that when you color something in, it like layers, which is good if you like that. Um, it just won't like leave a solid. It'll, if you like overlap at all, it'll start to darken it. But overall, they're really quality. I still haven't really gotten a chance to try out the brush tip pens that they gave me because it's more of like a watercolor situation and I want to be able to test it out first before I put it in my bullet journal. And then the gel pens that I got at the same time, the glitter ones work phenomenally. They are absolutely amazing. I highly recommend them. The click ballpoint ones work pretty well, but it depends on the actual pen. Some of them have a lot more trouble coming out than others. Like they'll be a lot more spotty while others are really inky and nice. And then my only complaint about them is that the color that's inside the tube does not match always the color of the pen, which I feel like it should. So like for example, so this pen, which is supposed to kind of be very lilac-y and purple turns out Oh, this is one of the ones that's a little spotty actually. So it's like way more pink than it is in the tube. And then this midnight green one, I think this one actually works really well. Yeah, this one works nicely as you can tell. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but I am trying. And then this one, which is the blue, a very like light sky blue. Oh, maybe it's not this one. There is another blue that actually turns out in a different color, but I think I have it somewhere. I tend to use these more just to write instead of to like draw with. I don't think they work very well for like bullet journaling. Uh, but if you like just gel pens to have around the house, these are really useful for that. 
but as far as drawing goes I just don't highly recommend them mostly because of the spottiness in some of them and also because the color doesn't always match the tube so if you go for a pen kind of forgetting what color it actually is you might be disappointed in your result so yeah that's that's really it that's that's my mini review I hope that was good enough for you guys that's gonna be it for this video today thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you in my next one goodbye